the first thing you want to do in an active shooter situation is figure out what's going on. But you want to get out of where you are and get away from the active shooter. You also let other people, once you get out, you want to call out uh, and let the authorities know what is happening. And the best way to call out is to dial 911. You should try to keep out the active shooter. If uh, uh, you can put up barricades in front of the doors um, and do what you can to keep that shooter away from you. Uh, you should, uh, if there's no other choice, um, you might be forced with the option of taking out the active shooter. The most important uh, thing in an active shooter situation is to have a survival, a survival mindset, uh, is that you are going to live and get through this situation no matter what. Uh, most people, when they've been involved in critical situations, if they have the will to survive, that survival mindset is going to keep them alive and keep others around them alive. One of the things you should consider is hiding out, is to go into a place where that active shooter is not going to find you. Um, here at UCSC, uh, if it's out in the open, one of a, a great place to hide out would be in the Redwood Forest. If you're in a group of people, uh, the best thing to do is to spread out. You don't want to have a whole bunch of targets all huddled together in one position. You want to spread out so it's harder for that person that wants to do the group harm. Uh, an active shooter situation, you could see all types of weapons. You could see weapons uh, similar to these that we've already recovered on campus. Uh, there could be other types of weapons that, uh, that you don't necessarily think about. Uh, there could be bombs, there could be knives. Uh, it, could, it might not just be a, uh, a handgun or a rifle or an assault rifle. The best way when calling 911 is to describe the person, first what they're doing, um, and then describe what they uh, look like. Uh, one thing you should also do prior to an active shooter situation happening is kind of look around where you work, where you go to school, uh, so you can kind of predetermine in your head uh, what to do if an active shooter uh, enters your building, your classroom, your dorm room, so you can pre-plan in your head what to do.